Hello, Accounting 201 students. This is Professor Hassey on the road. It's Thursday, November 3rd, and this is uh, a day late, but this is our intro video for assignment number three, which is due Sunday night, November 6th at midnight. I just wanted to walk through what I'm going to be looking for in this assignment, which I didn't get to uh, the other day after our class on Monday. And so this is a video explaining what I'm looking for. And basically what I'm looking for is you to answer two key questions. <clears throat> what do we mean by retail, retail accounting journal entries? And what do we mean by inventory valuation and how do they show up in an income statement, financial statement? So you are to create a spreadsheet file, not a Word file, not a, <clears throat> a, a PDF file, you are to create on your own a spreadsheet file in Excel or numbers and answer the following two questions. Now, you have templates already set up that we worked on this first half of the year. You're more than willing to, to copy those and use those journal entry formats or income statement formats if you like, but they has to answer these two questions in a spreadsheet. Nothing else will be accepted as you post your work Sunday night. So question number one is to just do the journal entries of this retail company, Erdan Company, for the month of July, just record the entries July 1 to July 31st. Here are the accounts that you will use. No other accounts will be necessary. Here's the chart of accounts of the company. You, you make a determination of using which accounts in your journal entry. You don't have to post to a ledger. You don't have to record a trial balance. Just record the retail accounting journal entries. That's that for that. Question number two is to talk about what we talked about in class on Monday, is to determine the inventory valuation under LIFO and FIFO for this company, Patel Company. They, this is for the year 2021, and this company currently uses an average cost system. I want you to calculate based on the information given, what is their inventory valuation for LIFO and FIFO? With a beginning inventory of 15,000 units, costing $32,000. Total sales for the year of 217,000 units, with a total sales revenue of $865,000. An ending inventory of 28,000 units, and that's what you are to value, those 28,000 units. Total goods purchased during the year for each quarter, 230,000 units at a total cost of $600,000. With that information, you can determine the 2021 ending inventory valuation of those 28,000 units under FIFO and LIFO. Please show me those calculations. Secondly, I want you to prepare an income statement using each one of those two inventory values to determine the net income of the company with those two different ways. You take the information given above and also with operating expenses of 147,000 and a company tax rate of 34,000 based on our review in class on Monday, you should be able to tell me what this company's net income is. So that's what I wanna see. I wanna see retail journal entries in part one, question one. I wanna see a valuation of FIFO and LIFO in question two and an income statement for those two methods. Explain to me what the net income would be for this company. And then finally, answer these two questions. Which cost flow method, FIFO or LIFO, produces the more meaningful inventory amount for the balance sheet and why? Explain your answer in one or two sentences. Second question, which cost flow method, FIFO or LIFO, produces the more meaningful net income and why? So what do these two methods show on the balance sheet? 
What do these two methods show as net income? And what would you determine as the most meaningful inventory valuation and why? This is all discussed and reviewed in the chapter six that we reviewed and you are looking at this week, number 10. Finally, when you're all said and done, if you wanna earn some extra credit points for this assignment, if you also calculate the income statement using the average cost system, which this company, company is currently using, go ahead and calculate the average cost valuation for this company and how that makes their income statement look. So you'll have three columns if you decide to do that. You don't have to do the average cost. That is extra credit. But if you decide to do that, you'll have three columns. One column income statement for average cost, one column statement for FIFO, and one for LIFO. We reviewed this in class on Monday. All right, everybody, that's your assignment four for this week. Have it posted by Monday, a Sunday evening, and we will review it early next week on Monday and Wednesday in our class next week. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. I'll be available for any questions or concerns you may have about your work. But again, I can't stress enough at this point of halfway through our semester, you are now going to put together the spreadsheet on your own. Until next Monday, adios.